Hi everyone, my name is Jamu and I'm a student of Government Day Secondary School, Dusi Alaji, Abuja. I'm here to share my knowledge of Chinese with you all. So next up, we're going to be talking about family stuff. So this is, as you can see here, it's it's a house. Jia, Jia, you can see in the picture, it's like a house. So here is it. Jia, Jia. Next is Papa. It's pronounced Papa. You can see he's a he's a dad. It means dad in Chinese in English. See the Chinese um the Chinese letter. Next is Mama. Mama is mom. It's very easy. It's like Papa and Mama. So Gogo. Gogo -go means older brother. Older brother. Gogo. Gogo. -go. Next is Jie Jie. Jie Jie. Jie means older sister. And here's the Chinese symbol of old Jie Jie. Nan. Nan means boy. Boy. As easy as that. Nan. Next up, we have Ren. Ren means a singular, a singular person, just one person. Ren. It could be boy, it could be girl. So it's easy. Ren. And the last one, new. New means girl. New. And here. As easy as that. Next up in this flashcard, we have some places. Places. Beijing. Beijing is the capital of China. So this is like the famous, famous um, building of China, famous place of China. Beijing. Right here. Beijing. Next up, we have Shanghai. Shang. Shanghai. Not Shanghai. Shanghai. Shanghai is also like the the closest city to, to Beijing and it's the famous city apart from Beijing in China. Shanghai, that's how it's written. The next one is Zhongguo. Zhongguo means China. A lot of people know that. Zhongguo. Here. Zhongguo. The next one is Meiguo. Meiguo means United States of America. Meiguo. Here. The last but not the least is Yingguo. Yingguo means British, England. Yingguo. That's the Chinese symbol of Yingguo. The next stop here we want to talk about some things to have to do with education, like school stuff. So here we have Gung Chen Shi. Gung Chen Shi means the headmaster. As you can see in this picture, it's the headmaster. So the next is Fawen. Fawen means French. It's written here, Francis. So it means good morning, but in Chinese it's Fawen, Fran, French. Here. The next one is Jungwen. Jungwen. This is Jungwen. And it's also written at the back. Jungwen. This is the easiest. Yingwen. Yingwen, as we all know, Yingwen is English. And this is the, the Chinese symbol of Yingwen, English. Next one we have is Shui Shang. Shui Shang. In the picture, you can see two people studying. Books are on the table and pen. So it means student. Shui Shang means student. The next one we want to talk about animal. We have here go, go. We can also say this is xiao go. It means little dog. Go. This is the Chinese symbol of go. The last one we have mao, mao. Mao means cat, and you can also say xiao mao. It's mostly spoken as xiao mao because it means little cat because the cat is little. So here we have the Chinese symbol of cut thank you everyone i hope you enjoyed that video about chinese i just try to you know 
teach you guys some few Chinese words and subscribe to this channel. Click the like button and comment down below.